Hello, this is the Quinn Show here. I'm uh, going to be demonstrating how to make underwater structures uh, the way that I've been doing it, which I've only made a few, but uh, I'm not on my normal save. This isn't a The Dome Project video, but uh, I will be showing you how I will be making my dome. And uh, here's an older dome that I made that uh, I didn't end up finishing completely. And uh, this is an abandoned save that I don't use anymore, but uh, I went ahead and set up this right now. Basically I'm going to walk you through how to do everything and uh, the first step is to lay the sand and then start digging down. Um, you're going to dig down, you want enough room to build whatever you want to build. And This for just for example I'm uh, building a 5x5 five five hole and that means that on the inside of the sand the ring that I'm leaving that's a 5x5 five five square. So uh, basically what's going to happen is you're going to go through and dig down until you've got enough building room and for me I'm just going to do this real quick so let me go ahead and uh, speed up the process just a bit okay so watching this a little bit faster now basically uh, it's just me digging down I end up going four blocks deep and it's a five by five hole so uh, I have had time lapse stops now, and uh, there's the hole. What I'm going to do here is start digging a uh, tunnel to get down here after I uh, after I get done building. So this is going to be a little bit of a tunnel, and uh, don't really have anything to say about this part. Um, one thing that you want to be careful of is that. Anytime you're building with water and stuff, you don't want to have any torches on the ground or where the water will come, and you don't want to rely on those because if you get a spill or a leak or what you see going on right here, you're going to lose your light source right away. So just want to be careful about that, and then also you want to be sure that you're not stuck. Like uh, if I wasn't able to, for some reason, dig this tunnel out, I'd have to break through one of my walls because I don't have any steps. Or I'd have to make steps, so you kind of want to plan ahead for stuff like that. Another thing for building is that if you're not building on peaceful mode, sometimes building at night time is not the right time. So, uh, I, depending on what what I'm feeling, if I'm in a I need to build mood, then uh, I'll build at night time because I kind of put torches up just to be safe. And. Uh, there's always that risk. Right now it's daytime in this save, so don't have to worry about that too much. So there I've got a uh, little tunnel to get in to my build area. And uh, I think I'm going to cut right here to where I'm back down there after I get my glass. So at this point right here I've come back with 48 glass to start building and uh, that piece was wrong. But uh, all of this is just uh, me kind of <laughs> improv making a little, just a little structure just to, I'm not trying to show off my building skills right here at all. This is trying to show off how the water um, process actually works and how you go about doing stuff underwater. So there I've got a little bit of a uh, hut, I guess, my glass hut. And uh, on this part, I'm uh, filling that in with glass because I needed the uh, dirt for um, covering it all. You'll see what I mean. So I'm just going through. Um, a lot of times having glass tunnels is good because you can also see what time of day it is if you don't have a watch or something like that. So go back in and pick up the dirt and there we go. We've got a glass tunnel that leads to my glass hut that's gonna be underwater and uh, I'll show you how we get to the underwater part now. Basically what we want to do is we want to look at the level of the water, which I think I do here in just a sec, and we want to look one block below that. So the sand right now is at water level. We want to look one block below the top row of sand. and. Uh, right here, that's the sand, that's the row under it, and that's where I want to start. 
So basically what you do is you go one block under the sand and you start laying dirt. Uh, I use dirt here instead of sand because the sand wouldn't stay up, it falls because of gravity. And uh, you don't need to go all the way down to the bottom, you only just need to cover the surface of it. So, just placing the uh, placing the dirt right now, and uh, actually that, that top layer of glass is at the same level so I don't put any dirt over it because there's no need to. I don't really know why I got rid of that corner piece, but basically right here what you want to do is you want to lay out rows that you can fill with water easily. And what you want to do is you want to fill every block with sitting water. Uh, you don't want any currents. So like right there's a current, but if you fill it, now it's all sitting still. You want to do that for all the rows that you end up making. And uh, for this, I just ended up doing uh, rows that are one block wide. But sometimes, uh, I think for that other dome that you saw earlier, I think I had rows that were about five or six blocks wide, and uh, it took a little bit longer to get uh, still, but that also worked for me. So that's one thing that you might just want to play around with. Um, I don't honestly know how I'm going to do it on uh, on my dome project video, but I will find out. And uh, if you get one of those currents right there, basically get another bucket of water and put it in the put the water in the middle of the current and that should balance it out and uh, I think that current happened because I was breaking the sand no excuse me breaking the sand too fast so uh, don't be in a really big rush just kinda take your own time now that we've got all the water uh, flat still on the inside of the sand we can go ahead and break down that layer of sand that was originally holding out the water So here's where I'm breaking out that. And uh, I was, uh, I kind of rushed this video a little bit. I didn't have time to make any shovels or anything. So that's why I'm just using a bucket because I don't have any actual tools to use. So now you're saying, okay, we've got it covered in water. Now let's get rid of the dirt. And uh, this is part of the way the water works in Minecraft. It, uh, if a water block is sitting and then there's open underneath of it, open air because of breaking these dirt blocks, the water will flow straight down. And uh, it won't make a current at the top, which is nice. So uh, breaking out all this dirt just basically brings water all the way down to the bottom of our build area. And uh, as I finish this up, I go ahead down and pick up the dirt just to have it. And uh, you can see that the water does go all the way down to the bottom of the build area. And the glass hut uh, is still uh, empty on the inside, so it's holding out the water, which is good. And now that we're done with that, we get to go see how it looks from the inside. So i am just walk over to our entrance and walk underneath. and. Obviously this wasn't supposed to be very pretty, it was just supposed to show the concept. As you can see all the water on the outside is running down and it looks good. I think the sun's actually setting right at the end of this video. So, At that, uh, you can apply this to bigger stuff obviously. Uh, I'm going to apply this to my personal dome project, which you can see on my channel. And... Um, Oh, right here I go down to uh, my other dome that's on this save and uh, show you a little bit better of what the uh, what the what the uh, what the system can be used for. And uh, I get pwned right here and just uh, yeah, right here. I uh, went down there and there was a spider right there. So <laughs> silly, silly me. But uh, I don't really have anything else to say for the rest of this video. Uh, I think right here I go and look at the outside, but that system can be applied to making glass structures, uh, not just domes, it can be, you know, a regular glass cube, it can be any structure at all, it can be made of anything, uh, but that laying the dirt with the sand barrier to keep the water out and then evening out the water on the inside and then breaking down the barriers. Uh, that's the best way that I've seen so far, and that was actually something that I kind of came up with on my own after trying some other ideas that didn't work. So, 
not taking credit. I'm sure there's probably some other people that do it that way too, but I'm just saying that uh, that's one of the best ways that I know of. I think right here I should go down and try and kill the spider. So uh, go ahead and watch that for your enjoyment. I end up getting owned again. So uh, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and uh, this has been uh, the Quinn Show tutorial. And here I go to fight to my death. Thanks for watching. See you next time.